So I thought I'd do some short videos on hacks. These might not be hacks for you, but it's something I've been doing for a number of years. And if you haven't thought about it, you might want to try it. Uh, I've talked about most of these in other videos, but uh, I thought it'd be worthwhile to spend a little more time on each item. And, uh, you know, when I bought this Conqua 40, this Durston pack I just bought, I kind of wanted to change up my food storage to, just so I could utilize the real estate in that pack uh, a little better. And, uh, you know, I've always used these. I haven't changed this at all. These are Ziploc uh, containers. I use them for my coffee cup, use them for my bowl, keep my spoon in there. But when I start out on a trip, I have food storage in both of these. And uh, it's just something that uh, I can utilize that space for things that I don't want to get crushed, like maybe Fritos. Or uh, in this one, I keep my honey stingers now, but I've gone from Pop-Tarts that I could fit four in here to Velveeta cookies that I could put six in here. Now these honey stingers, they're round, even though the packaging's square. I can get like 16 of them in there if I want. And uh, when I'm on the trail and I've come to a trail town, I'm leaving a trail town, if there's a bakery and I can find glazed cinnamon rolls, I can stuff three or four of them in here. It doesn't look pretty. It's not going to be on the front of a magazine, but it doesn't taste any different. So uh, I like something sweet with my Carnation uh, Starbucks coffee mix in the morning. And so if I've got rolls in there, you know, I just take my knife and uh, slice it up and eat it like monkey bread. And uh, it's wonderful. So I uh, highly recommend carrying these things. And they are very efficient. And when you've used up the consumables in these things, it takes up even less real estate because they just nest together. You know, you've got another top put in your food bag. But uh, I also use this for scooping water. You know, a lot of times you'll come to a water source that's nothing but a drip out of a rock or a shallow puddle. And uh, you'll need something to scoop up water to put in your water bladder to filter your water, and these work perfect. So these can also be part of your electronics insurance policy. You know, when you're coming to a water crossing that's... Uh, a little hairy, you know, like on the Great Divide Trail, even though it was the middle of the summer, I had some water crossings that would just knock you right over. And it's this glacial melt that's so cold you can chew it. And just to protect my electronics, I'd put them in these things. If I did go over, you know, I wasn't going to, I could dry everything else out. It's a little hard to dry your electronics out. The other thing I use these for is cold soaking, but I have to say that. Um, I do a lot of cold soaking now, mostly fillings for my tortilla wraps, but uh, I found these not to be that leak proof. Uh, I even tried to buy some gaskets that would fit in here that might solve that problem, but I've never really been able to find something that would really fit that lid. But um, what I do is I just put everything in a Ziploc bag, add water, and just store the bag in here so I've got double leak protection and then I'm not afraid to put it in my pack but uh, sometimes I'll just take one of my water bottles and put it in my back pocket here and uh, put this in the water bottle pocket so it sits upright I just don't want leaky food in my pack but otherwise they you know you put that Ziploc bag in there it works like a charm. So the other thing I'm kind of changing in the food storage department of uh, my backpack, and not just because I bought this Durston Cockwa 40, uh, but on this last 220 mile trip I did, my z packs storage, food storage bag uh, started going bad. Of course, this is full of paper right now, but that's about how big it is, or bigger, when I've got a week's worth of food in it. But, uh, you know, this is what happens to Dyneema when the strands start falling apart. And every time I'd set that bag down, I'd come up with all kinds of ground cover vegetation stuck to it. And, uh, you know, again, it's, I'm not knocking this bag. I've had this bag for several years. But it does live mostly in my pack. And uh, so 
the real reason, not because Dyneema's falling apart, the real reason I'm switching my food bag is because this is not efficient real estate in your pack. I mean, it's food, basically you could crush it down and kind of fill all the nooks and crannies, but it's not very efficient. You know, I've always carried it in one bag and never really thought about changing that up because when I'm in bear country, then I can just, you know, hang that bag, but, and it's waterproof pretty much in this Dyneema, but it's not very uh, efficient when I stop for a break and I'm trying to cook something or get a snack, and I've got a week's worth of food to rummage through in this little bag to try and find the item that I'm looking for. And, uh, and again, when it's just one big basketball, it's pretty hard to take up some of the space in your pack that you're trying to fill the little crannies. And so now I've pretty much gone to using, you know, again, I've got some food in these, but then I'll have two or three gallon size Ziploc bags and I'll kind of compartmentalize things, you know, like food that I'm not going to eat for two or three days. I don't have to deal with it every time I want to get in my pack and get some food out. It's over in one cranny. And maybe I have, you know, snacks and, and uh, breakfast items in another cranny and dinners in another. And so it's just a little more organized. It uh, really works out taking up the real estate that's in this pack, keeping it organized and keeping it uh, a little bit more compartmentalized. And as far as hanging it in bear country, um, you know, I set up my tent. I get my sleeping bag out. I've got that compression Sea to Summit bag that I keep my bag in. It's waterproof. It pretty much shaped like this. And so I just put all my food in that and hang it at night. So I still have a waterproof bag with my food in it. Still has the same clip system on it. So I can just put my bear rope through there and up it goes. So I hope you've gotten something out of this video. Um, I am coming out with another video, kind of an update on my do-it-yourself hiking storage pole vaults and uh, you know I've made some changes I've put two videos out now one how to build them one of the changes I made as far as the grips but I'm uh, really working on some other things right now that are working out but I have to say that after I put you know a few hundred miles on these things I forget that I even have different poles it's they're that comfortable they're working out that well and uh, Again, you get all this storage capacity in them and it's like you're not even carrying it. Keep smiling.